Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Pokemon Pure Green Green Team Run. The last time we got ourselves a Metapod, a Pocket Abra, and the Boulder Badge, off screen, I had some level grinding and top Metapod by to make it more useful. So, but don't worry, we can get more of that TM in Cerulean City. With Bide, because Bide also increases attack power, Metapod can actually be quite powerful, at least for this early part of the game, if it has the time to set up. So we got a lot of trainers on our way to Mount Moon. Of course, even then, it's still taking me multiple hits to knock out Pokemon half my level. So it's not that much of an improvement, but it does help. And you're paralyzed. God damn it. Eh, I'll take the extra money, though. Akadabra, do your thing! Yeah, the Pocket Abra pretty much makes escape ropes useless. Not Dig, though. Um, there's something that you could do with that later. We'll talk about that when it comes up. Oh yeah, and that's the other annoying thing about Critical Hits, is... Critical Hits ignore all stat changes, including your own, so... Getting a crit when you boosted your attack power, that's actually a bad thing. And we're poisoned, so we gotta go back again! Guess who's back? Back again. Yeah, they are comfy and easy to wear. Okay, for this one, we're actually going to switch over to Ivasaur. Now, gotta pay attention, because I think I gained a level. Yep. Can't let you evolve, otherwise we can't use you anymore. Can't believe I'm unironically using a fucking Metapod. God damn it. Well, now I can't set up anymore. Alright. Ah, sure, whatever you say, kid. Now we gotta go back and heal again! Man, am I glad I picked this thing up. Yes, I have antidotes, but I'd rather hold on to those for taking on Team Rocket inside of Mount Moon. Their Pokémon teams are a bit more varied than in Vanilla, but they still do like their poison types. Every time! God damn it! Yeah, you did lose. Now we gotta go back again! This will be a hell of a lot more tedious if not for Pocket Abra. God damn. Finally, somebody who isn't starting off with a po- Oh, you do have a poison type. Don't even think about it. Alright. Next up. Again, the whole point of this is just to save power points for Vine Whip. Because I stupidly got rid of Tackle on Ivasaur. Okay, make sure I hit B at the end of the battle. And now we caught up and leveled Ivasaur. Only in a stupid challenge run like this will you be using a level 20 Metapod. Alright, we're gonna switch you off, actually. There's a couple wild Pokémon we can get on this route. And we probably should. Nope. God damn it. 
fine be that way. Serves you right for being cheeky. Or I guess I, I guess I have to go back to Metapod now. Oh, execute. Well, I can't use it now, but I can use Executor. I mean, if I was to use my monotype rules, I would be able to use Execute because it evolves into a Pokemon with the right sprites, but... Hmm... Do I want to count this as an exception? Well, I'm gonna catch it anyway, but I'm gonna think about that for a bit. Come on, get in the ball! Get in the fucking ball! And I'll think about that while I'm going back to heal. Okay, I've decided by fiat that yes, it does count. Considering that, well, I have a similar exception for my monotypes, so I don't see why I can't do that with Execute. You're not a trainer. There's a couple more wild Pokemon we can catch out here. Might as well do that a bit. <laughs> Not you. Not you. Already got one. Oh yeah, Vulpix is interesting. Because in this hack, it's a fire and ghost type. Oh, come on. I should just use Hypnosis when catching stuff, because that just sets your the capture rate, I think, to a fixed 1 in 3. Or something like that. It's ridiculous. Or is it like 1 hat? It's like... 33 to 50 percent of the time, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yep. I think that'll do it for now. Oh, for the love of God, really? Alright, let's just heal real quick. And of course, in here, this is the train, the guy you could buy. Not for you. This guy, or not him either. No, it's, it's this guy. This guy you can buy a magic card from. Although it's kind of pointless because you can catch one very, very soon. You get the fishing rods earlier than you normally would. So, anyways, I guess now we're gonna try and make our way through Mount Moon. First things first, let's go over here and get this, TM-12. In vanilla, that's Water Gun. In this, it's Aurora Beam. Name my Pokemon use it? Nope. Not surprised. He's talking about Team Rocket! Oh wait, no, Vulpix is just regular fire type. It's Ninetales that's fire and ghost type in this hack. Okay. Much more potions. Come on, it's a fucking Zubat! Catch it! Are you serious? Christ's sake, that was annoying.
But now we go down here. We can catch a Paris. That could actually be helpful. Because Paris, well... I don't... I don't trust you. I know it's supposed to not matter what your hip, what the hit points are, but at this point, I'm not taking any chances. Oh, I got one more Pokeball. Shit. But yeah, it can learn Cut and Flash, which will be useful. Not to mention Cut and Flash work differently in this hack. Cut basically becomes a bug-type version of Slash. And Flash actually becomes an electric attack. It does damage. Mega Drain, good shit. Doesn't have a lot of power points, unfortunately. Yep, you did blow it. So, now we get ourselves an iron. And we're actually going to use that on Execute, I think. And we're going to teleport out of here real quick. Okay, so... Got some more Pokeballs. Box some Pokemon. Actually caught a couple more. I only got two spots left in that particular box. Come on, damn it! Hit the damn target! Oh yeah, uh, Voltorb and Electrode are electric and fire type in this, so, uh, yeah. Okay, hit B, because we're about to level up again. Metapod's been shockingly useful. Hmm. Imagine what happens when you give a Pokémon some decent moves it can learn. Oh, Clefairy. Already got one. I got one off camera. Eh, we'll knock it out. It's experience. So yeah, if you're wondering how stat experience works, um, every time you beat a Pokémon, all of its stats are added to your stats. So... Well to your stat experience pool. So, let's say a Pokemon's attack is 20. It adds 20 stat experience to your attack uh, stat experience pool. And it goes up exponentially with each, with each point you get. But it is possible, in theory, to max out all of your stats. Which you can't do in later generations. In later generations, you can only max out two of your... Uh, you can only max out up to two of your stats. Rare candy. Um, we're gonna hold on to that for later. Going to going through this through here to Cerulean City, huh? You don't say. Although I refuse to believe you beat Brock with this team. You probably abused the glitch. Because, I mean, that's not cheating. That's an exploit. Alright, well. Okay. Wait, what was that? Carbos. Um, we're gonna go with... We're gonna give that... Yeah, we're gonna give that to you. Executor is usually slow, but whatever. Nope.
Your Charmander lost to a Metapod, for shame. Okay, we're actually gonna teleport back and heal. Now we're back here. And here's another ladder we can go down. Level 20. Thunspore! Hmm... It's more accurate than Hypnosis, but we're gonna keep Hypnosis, because Hypnosis is more useful for capturing Pokémon. No, go away. Be useful if it could no confusion yet, but nope. Yeah, I am! Glad you noticed. Okay, so, first of all, we have an iron here. Go away! And TM40, which is, in this hack, Karate Chop. And I believe they did change to a fighting-type attack like it's supposed to be. We're gonna give that to, uh... We'll give that to you. I'm pretty sure none of Hulk can use it. Nope, none of you can. But yeah, it's just a fighting type attack that has a high crit rate. Oh wait. <sighs> Go to sleep! like that book. Go the fuck to sleep! Down you go. Down you go. And down you go. Moonstone. One of several you can find here. And I don't think any of those are going to be useful. Then again, there might be like a Need Arena or Need Arena that evolves to the Need King or Need Queen. I forgot. Might be in the Safari Zone. Yeah, we're gonna switch off to Ivasaur now. Nope. Go away. Go away. What's up? Are Call correct? Oh, no, I'm thinking of... Fire Red and Leaf Green or something like that. Where's an item up there? Nah, go away. If I recall correctly, you can find Rhyhorn down here in this hack, too. They're rare, though. Oh, hi, Gagarin! That's my... That was the name of my player character in Rocket Edition. Fire Red Rocket Edition, specifically. Stone. Now here's this asshole. If I be that way. Fine, I'll just boost my power even more. Careful what you wish for, bitch. Oh, great. Now you just copied my stats. But no matter. I can still brute force this. Nope.
Now I can pick one of these. But get this! But... And believe it or not, he's not lying. If you take it to him, you can get your fossil Pokémon early. Specifically, as soon as you get to Saffron City, you can go to his house. And you can also have him revive the old Amber early for you, too. There we go. Now we're almost at the end. I forgot if you can actually find Rhyhorn here or not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Okay, so is there an item down here? I forget. Uh, I do know you can get TMs up here. Or... No, it's those guys. Uh, never mind. I, don't, I'm thinking of Vanilla, where you get Mega Punch and Mega Kick, but... Some of the TMs are changed around in this. Um, I believe those actually become the Elemental Punches. Yeah, he did. You know what? I may have to actually use an item. Hmm. First time in the playthrough. Okay. Antidote. Because we are... Hang on. We're almost there, but... God damn, is this annoying. DM3, that's... Leech Seed. Which both my grass types already have, so it's pointless. And this girl's moved over here, so you can battle her earlier. God damn it. Oh, this is annoying. This is really annoying. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Go over here. There's the bike shop. Pokemon Center's over here. And I think this is probably gonna wrap it up. Let me double check how long I've been recording for. Yeah, it's gonna wrap it up. We've been recording for a good while. Anyways, if you like what you see, uh, like, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page, and I will catch you all next time.